Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm excited. We're going to go ahead and hop right into New World. Show you guys how to get through the starting zones as fast as possible. As you know, launch day, MMO, starting zones are going to get absolutely crazy. Your best bet is to get out of there as quickly as possible. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Let's check it out. And I'll see you guys in game. All right, so first step, create your character. Make sure when you select your server, you select the same one that you want to play on with your friends. And keep in mind, you can only have one character per server. Once you meet this cutscene, press mouse one to skip, and then you get into character create. I have pretty much memorized all the settings that I want and where they live, so I click through this pretty quick. And on launch day, getting through character create will be uh, pretty important to do it as fast as possible. Your name is important, it is also global. You can only have one name of that in the entire game. So you may have to do a variation from what you normally do. This cutscene here cannot be skipped. Luckily, it's not too long. You may be met with a queue depending on where you're at, or you may not. Either way, not a big deal. Once you leave the queue, you're going to enter into the tutorial. Now, the tutorial area right here can actually go on for a pretty decent amount of time, but I'm going to show you guys how to skip all that. So you're going to run up. You're going to be met with a quick combat tutorial. I'm sure you've done this before. The one thing about this is on the last move for heavy attack, uh, after you dodge, you can actually preload mouse one and you can get the attack done uh, before the, the UI even shows up. Spam E to get through that. And then you're going to loot the body. And now for here, what you want to do is you actually want to put on the basic food first and then the shield. If you do them in reverse order, what it's gonna do is it's gonna skip any of the animation stuff to show you to go ahead and put food on now, and you can get out of this screen a little bit quicker. As you exit, start slamming through to eat, and then immediately hit escape. You wanna hit escape so you can go up to the game menu, and from the game menu, you're just gonna click on skip to new world. The reason why we click on skip to new world is because you skip this whole tutorial thing and you just get on with the game. Okay, so from here, you're going to end up on one of the four starting zones. Don't worry about syncing up with your friends quite yet. Just get these initial quests done, and y'all will sync up later so you can play together. You know, approach this first NPC, spam E. Don't worry about putting on the reward yet. Just move on. If there's a bush nearby, swing by and grab one single bush, and then just keep on trucking. If you run by flint, swing by and grab one piece of flint, and that's it. You want to make sure you have one green wood and one flint in your inventory for a quest that's going to come up later on. From here, the only thing you want to do is head to this first wreck, kill three drown, and then get out. I cannot stress this enough. Do not spend any time killing stuff you don't have to kill. Sometimes you won't have a choice and you're going to have to kill some stuff, but if you can avoid it, then avoid it. All right, I got my three kills. I'm running out. I'm gonna put this on auto run as I run back. While I'm on auto run, this is when I will spend my points. In the early sections, I only spend points on strength in order to increase damage. So if I have to kill something, I can kill it a little bit faster. I'm gonna turn this quest in and it's gonna give me another quest. I know it wasn't a pleasant task, but it was the right thing. Now, typically this quest would be to go get flint and go get wood so I can make my skinning knife. I already did that, so now it's going to shortcut me straight to the fact of crafting the skinning knife, which I can do right here at the campfire. When I get done crafting the knife, I'm going to set as active tool so I can skip the time to go into my inventory. And now I'm done with that quest. This next quest is going to be to hunt a boar and skin a boar. If you come across a boar 
go ahead and skin it ahead of time. There will be a lot of people out there. There's a chance that when you get a kill, someone may go ahead and try to just yoink that kill from you. While you're skinning, it's going to take a little bit. This is another good chance to use some of those skill points. Level up your strength a little bit further because you can't do anything else while you're skinning the boar. And again, it takes a little bit of time. So now that we have our boar meat, we're going to run back over. We're going to make a single light ration. And then we're going to turn in this quest. Again, spamming E just to get through it. And now I'm running back out to do the next quest. Now, again, the location of these quests may be slightly varied for you, depending on what spawn location you run into. But the content of the quests will always be the same thing. So for this one, you're going to run towards this marker. At some point, it's going to split into three markers. And again, this is one of those critical points. Do not kill anything if you do not have to. Your main goal is to get out of this area. So, I've got a uh, manifest over here I'm going to grab. This next one, if I remember correctly, is going to be inside the boat. So I'm just going to head into the boat. At this point, I've aggroed a handful of dudes, but I'm just going to ignore them and keep on running. Now I need to get the final and third manifest, and from there, it'll send me to the next set of boats. And for that, all I'm doing is pressing E and hitting escape as fast as possible. I've got some time now. I'm on auto run. A couple more points into strength. And I'll just continue my journey trying to knock out these early quests. So for this one, this one can be a little tricky. Uh, if there's more than just you in the area, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, and I have had good luck in the past where I've been able to run up to the ship locker, get it, and then just bail. But for this one, there were a lot of bad guys around. So unfortunately, I had to kill them. This is the only combat that I've been in uh, since I, you know, really got here that I didn't want to uh, be part of. But uh, like I said, this time I had to do it. I have had many, many playthroughs where I was able to run up, hit that chest and leave without having to fight anything. And that is always key. So I'm going to auto run over to the next area. And then we'll do this next set of quests. Now, if you do end up having to fight a few things, one of the things that you can do uh, is you can put your uh, weapon mastery points on as well while you're running around. Uh, it's not a bad idea to get your... Um, uh, your weapon points and skills up. All right, so this Drowned Grenadier, this is one that has to die. So I've tried to skip that NPC multiple times and just run by and just get the uh, get the flag off the front. Uh, but she will hit you with grenades, uh, and there is a knockback, and they will push you off the boat, and so it will slow you down. So for that one NPC, uh, if uh, it's standing there, go ahead and be sure to take it out. So we're gonna grab the flags off the front and the back of the boat. And then we're gonna turn in and do the final quest for this area. And we're gonna get out of here. Anytime that you jump off a high point, always try to actually jump and don't walk off it. If you jump off it, you're gonna do a roll when you hit the ground. And when you roll, uh, as you hit the ground, you are going to uh, keep your momentum. Be careful as you run around. Try not to run through deep water like I just did there. That will slow you down. And now that I've got some downtime, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in my weapon mastery points as well as my territory gain points. When you're doing these early quests, I recommend your territory gain points usually go into experience because typically you're not going to spend a whole lot of time in the starter area uh, of the map doing things like gathering and, and whatnot. You're going to save that for future towns. But yeah. Get to store and proceed. All right. Once I have finished those initial quests, only then will I stop, open up my chest to get my uh, piece of uh, chest armor, and then I will apply any of the items that I've gotten um, 
from the quests. So my boots, my pants, and my shirt. But I save that to the end. This way I'm only messing around with my inventory one time versus doing it every single time I get an item drop because the items, honestly, they don't help you a ton. Uh, they're not going to, you know, make a huge difference. All right, so as we come into this cave, what we're going to do is we're going to run by everything. You will aggro them. But that's okay. And just keep on running by it. On launch day, there should be a ton of people in here. So your chances to aggro things will be even smaller. I make a beeline straight for this door. And I just cut the door down. I don't even pay attention to any of the enemies behind me. I'm going to get hit. I'm going to get knocked around a little bit. But my main focus is just to get through this door. Even with all these enemies, you should be able to get through with uh, a little bit of health left. There we go. Made it through. Luckily for me, there was already somebody down here hitting the boss. So I'm going to get a few hits on him. Okay. And now I'm out of here. Not even looting the boss chest. One of the things that I see people constantly do a mistake of is they run back through the door that they came in from. There is a open area in the cave. You can identify it by the hole in the rocks where you can see the sky. You want to run up that way and then run out that quote unquote like little rock window or whatever you want to call it, that little opening, because that's going to be much faster to get out of this cave than going back in the way you came. Again, I didn't loot anything. I am just doing everything I can to get out of this zone as fast as possible. So there, I went ahead and I jumped. I hit the ground and I rolled. And that's what I meant earlier by doing that to keep your momentum. So I'm gonna head over here, turn this in, and I am done with the starter zone. I've seen some people when they run around, they'll do a combination of dodge rolls. It doesn't make you any faster. Uh, I have tried and attempted. Uh, I've done it next to uh, other people and it's about exactly the same as running, if not actually a little bit slower. So uh, that's it. So that should get you through the, uh, the starter zone pretty quick. All right, that's it. So that's how I get through my starting zones as fast as possible. Hopefully y'all found this helpful. If so, please like and subscribe. You know I got to say it. And uh, and yeah, hopefully y'all are doing well. Until the next one, take care of each other. We're all we've got. I'll check you guys on the flip side.